I mean, I mean, and what what was uh, we know who we're talking about? All they did was repeat the video of saying, that, "Oh, I was dead. I was dead. I died outside the house, and my daughter was watching." So when people start bringing that kind of shit up, I'll just get a train up there and bang the shit out of both of you. I don't care. But I had to walk away from it because mm. even it annoyed the, annoyed the shit out of me. You know. It's, it's, it's... Right. Here I am again. I thought I wasn't going to make any more videos. Uh, just a quick one. Um, I just seen what Pete said about me and Rob on the live stream on Paul's live stream yesterday. Right, in case you missed it, Pete, we're all trying to leave this behind us, and there's going to be no more arguments or trouble. Um, and then he came there making ridiculous statements. Um, just quickly, because I'm tired of all this. Um, you said you sat back and you, you watched and you're defending your friends. Well, if you was defending your friends, none of this would have happened in the first place because you would have defended me and Rob, but you never did that. Apparently, we wasn't your friends. Um, and as for the statement about us making a joke about you dying, and you said you died, which we didn't know anything about. Don't forget, we wasn't talking, Pete, so I wouldn't know if you'd actually died, mate. Um and he was on our channel, remember? He come on there and it was all meant to be put to bed between us. He said we'd leave it and we'd go our separate ways. Or we'd, we'd try and sort things out. I can't remember how it was left, but it was left amicable. You disappeared after that. I was still blocked. You never spoke to me. Um, and as for the you, di you died thing, yeah, I died twice, Pete, remember? Not a competition, but I, I was revived twice by the paramedics, which none of you cared about when you was told. And Paul actually made a derogatory comment about it. But that's okay. Um, and let's go to that. You disappeared for five months. That's why we stopped talking about you. And if you actually check with people that you're friends with, your missus, for instance, ask her, did I not message her asking if you was okay? I couldn't message you because you blocked me. I actually messaged her asking if you was okay because you disappeared and I was worried about you. But what was the first thing you did when you returned to YouTube, Pete? You wished me bad health. It's nice, isn't it? Um... And then I'd see the, the video yesterday where at the end you're saying you're going to come up here and bang me out and bang Rob out or something. What are you talking about? This is what I mean. All this shit. And in all the stuff that's gone on, I've never threatened any of you with violence. Have ever said I'm going to come out there and do this and do that? No, I haven't. But of course, I'm the bad guy. So why can't you just leave it? You've not been involved in any of it for months. And that's why we stopped talking about you, because you weren't there. We don't know what's going on. And like I said, talk to your missus, Pete, and ask her, did I not message her and see if he was all right? But I got no response, which is fine. That's okay. But then don't come back and wish bad health on me, and then do a video essay saying you're going to you're gonna come up here and knock me out, or whatever it is you're going to do, because you're not going to do anything, Pete. Just pack it in now. I've had enough. Seriously.